Hey there, so today I'm going to be taking a couple of these fake baby carriages from the dollar store. They're meant for like treat holding at a baby shower, but what I'm going to use them for is I'm going to turn them into wagons filled with produce and I'm going to use them for a market setting in my D&D campaign. That way my party can hide in and around these carts in the middle of a market. So let's get started. Alright, so first things first, we need to take these pieces off of the cart. So I'm going to take the visor, or whatever you call this part, um, and take that off. Then I'm going to take off the handle, and after I take off the handle, I need to fill it with something. So one of the cheaper things that I found to fill things with is this Model Magic. It's made by Crayola, it's like a foam that hardens. So I'm going to fill the carriage with this model magic. I want to make sure that it protrudes out the top a little bit so it looks like it's really full. So now I need to fill the holes that the handle in the visor were in and I'm going to use some gel super glue for that. This is the kind that you can get at the dollar store. This stuff works great, it's almost the only glue that I use. Next I'm going to use the super glue to freeze the wheels. I don't want this rolling around, I want it to be a stationary prop for the table. So I'm going to use the same gel super glue and I'm going to glue the wheels so they can't move anymore. After the model magic and glue dry, now I'm doing the experimental part. I'm going to cover the top of the model magic with a Mod Podge to act as a hobby glue. You want to make sure there's a lot on there because I'm going to be dipping this in something. So I want to make sure what I'm dipping it in will stick to it. So I'm using a lot of the Mod Podge. Alright, so they sell these foam balls at the dollar store. And what I'm going to do is just dip the top of the carts into the foam balls and hope that I get enough on there to look like apples and oranges and other fruits and vegetables. This actually worked really well. It took a lot on it. I'm gonna have to do another coat and put some more on it, but it looks good so far. So the more apples and oranges, the better. I'm gonna hit it with another layer of the Mod Podge, and after I do this, I'll give it another dip. So these do need a little bit more produce, so now that I got the Mod Podge on there again, I'm going to dip it in the foam balls to add a little bit more produce to these carts. Alright, now to hit it with a layer of Mod Podge and black paint mix. This is going to act as a protective layer and it'll keep it all together a little bit better. Mm -hmm. 
The Mod Podge gives a nice protective coat, but by mixing in some black paint, it makes it easier for the primer and the other paints to bond to it. So now instead of a spray primer, I'm going to use a light gray craft paint and I'm just going to base the whole cart with that. The whole purpose of this is I just want a lighter color for the rest of my paints to bond to better because the darker it is the more coats I'm going to have to do with my miniature paints. So if I add a layer of light craft paint it'll make it so I can use less coats of my nicer paints. So starting off, I'm going to use a light brown for the cart. I want it to look like a wooden slash wicker cart, so I'm going to use a light gray and I'll add more detail later. So I actually decided to use my craft paints instead of my nice miniature paints and it covered really well. This brown only took about a coat and I think I did a second coat just to make sure but it came out great. Next, I'm going to hit it with a coat of craft paint again. I'm going to start with a red on this one. I think I'm going to do two different types of produce. So I'm going to do apples in this cart. So I'm going to base coat it with a red craft paint. So again, this actually covered really well. I wasn't expecting it to cover as well as it did, but I'm happy that it did. It only took about one coat for me to get everything the way I wanted it. Now we're going to use the same brand of paint, it's still going to be Apple Barrel, but I'm going to be using a pumpkin orange to make these look like oranges. So I'm going to put a nice coat of that on. This did take more than one coat, I think it took like two or three coats because the orange just didn't cover as well as the red or the brown, but that's alright, it still dried really quick. So in between coats to dry the paint quicker, I use my heat gun. You can use like a hair dryer if you want. 
It just speeds up the paint drying process so you don't need to wait as long. Alright, so now I'm going to do some more experimentation. I took some contrast paint from Citadel and I mixed it with some black wash. So I have the red contrast paint with the black wash and I'm going to apply it to give more shading on the apples and see how it turns out. So I don't use contrast paints often, but this is working really well. It's seeping into the places that I want to stay dark and it's leaving the higher up places highlighted. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of a yellow contrast paint to the red to make it orange and I'll add it to the oranges to do the same that I did with the apples. Since I don't really use contrast paints, I've only used inks a few times. I was a little worried that it wouldn't mix together the way that I wanted to, but it did. And it dried and covered exactly the way I wanted it to. So now I'm going to use this dark brown contrast paint on the cart itself to give it a little bit more dimension. So again, this covered great and it did exactly what I wanted it to. It made it look like it had more shading and more definition. Now I'm going to do some dry brushing and highlighting. I'm going to use the orange again, add a little bit of white to it to lighten it up, and I'll dry brush it with this makeup brush from the dollar store. Next, I'm going to add some more white paint to the orange to lighten it up and highlight a little bit more. Next, I'm going to do the same with the red. I'll start with the bright red and I will dry brush it on top of the apples. Now I'll add a little bit of white to the red and I'll dry brush with that to make it highlight the top a little bit more. Next I'm going to be using this beige to dry brush the sides of the cart to again give it some more highlighting.
So after I'm done with the dry brushing, I am gonna take a smaller brush and I will go through the different panels and highlight them a little bit more individually. And voila! I'm not going to compare apples to oranges because I think they both look great. So I've had these little carriages in my collection for a while to make something out of. Initially I was going to make like a cart filled with hay or something like that. But if you have other ideas of stuff that I could put in these, let me know because I still have like three or four more of these and they were really easy to make. And I feel like having a few more things to just toss in the gaming environment would be great. Again, this was fun and easy, so I encourage you to try it out yourself and share your results with me if you want. Hey, so we finished up the two carts filled with produce. I love the way these came out. I think they're going to make a great addition to the market setting I'm building. They're going to make a great piece that the party can hide in or around from like the city guard or whoever might be looking for them. Um, if you want to see other builds like this, I have a few more YouTube videos that you can check out. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching um, and I'll see you next time.